regards to 90 days before uh, the show I can't obviously say too much guys I hope you understand that guys you guys keep asking me hey are you still together um, uh, green card you crack me up you know you crack me up uh, for all those people I say listen green card come here visit in this country visit like Amsterdam see how beautiful it is see how amazing it is so the science and uh, scientific health benefits of coffee first of all coffee boosts your energy level which we all know and it's not really the coffee but it's the caffeine and those active ingredients uh, which is a natural stimulant helps improve several uh, uh, brain functions including mood memory vigilance and reaction times uh, coffee burns fat too uh, actually caffeine is one of the most popular ingredients uh, for fat burning just as green tea by the way mm. I gotta mix it up you know <laughs> so actually by the way just uh, to let you guys know I'm now communicating with a farmer in Africa uh, about green about beans coffee beans and I'm trying to with, with like from the study I'm trying to check which plant is the best not only for taste but also for health benefits like I want the best beans I'm like trying to figure it out you know uh, so if you guys want to follow me on this process uh, just let me know I can uh, uh, you know uh, keep you guys updated in an email list or something uh, just send in your your uh, details your contact details in uh, at the website maestrpt.com and I'll keep you guys updated about the coffee and if you want to pre-order if I'm at that stage but right now I just want to make sure I have to create the best product you know all right um, coffee obtains also uh, contains also essential nutrients and antioxidants it is uh, you know rich in vitamin B rich in vitamin B uh, five um, potassium uh, three percent um, eleven percent vitamin b2 it also helps you know with the risk of minimize the risk of diabetes type 2 and uh, you know we all know that's one of the like many health problems that affect millions of people and um, type you know with with diabetes type 2 so uh, that that's a good thing for coffee lovers uh, you know uh, because it can help lower your risk uh, of having type 2 diabetes up to 50 percent all right which is great so uh, you know let's 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 uh, keep drinking see your coffee guys come on let's do it <laughs> uh, consuming uh, also coffee can help uh, uh, you know uh, prevent dementia and Alzheimer uh, I, I obviously you know I'm graduating in psychology uh, and uh, I'm now doing my thesis and my last uh, things for for the, the study I did a lot of extra diagnostic things and courses all like over and I, I actually there is research about it. you can look it up it prevents a certain percentage of um, uh, Alzheimer and um, um, also uh, Parkinson's disease I think for Alzheimer I have to uh, check real quick uh, yeah it prevents up to 65% uh, and dementia for up to 65% which is incredible you know uh, so uh, if you combine this by the way I have to say that if you combine it with uh, a proper diet and exercise regimen uh, you know it, 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 it helps you it helps you energize um, you know uh, coffee is a great source of antioxidants uh, coffee at this point may be your healthiest meal especially if you always eat Western foods so uh, surprisingly actually not surprisingly these days coffee is more a common source of antioxidants than fruits and vegetables uh, is that a good is that a good thing um, no <laughs> I think we have to combine and, and make sure that everything uh, you know is balanced uh, because we also need to think about digestion which helps by the way too eh? it, it, it speeds up the metabolism coffee so uh, try drinking it and 
and you'll see that your metabolism gets gets and it also helps with losing weight um, also uh, coffee helps decrease your risk for some cancers and um, uh, certain types I think in a report uh, where they say in at least for at least drinking four cups of coffee the chance of getting uh, a certain cancer uh, can be decreased decreased by 15% and in addition you also decrease the chances of uh, I think your liver cancer for sure uh, drinking the same you know and also uh, the longevity so uh, just to sum it up guys uh, coffee is the way to go and if you can't deal with caffeine uh, there's also decaffeinated coffee you know you don't get all the benefits but at least you get some all right i love you guys thank you so much for the incredible feedback and emails i got also in regards to, sh to the show uh, i hope you guys keep watching and um it's it's an incredible journey and uh i'm i'm, I'm very sorry i can't uh, give you any uh spoilers uh uh, but I, you know you have to understand you know like we're in episode three and uh, uh, you have to see what what's going to happen with us so uh, if you have any questions in regards to uh, body mind psychology let me know uh, just keep in mind that I get a lot of questions so I can't address them all but I always pick a few out in this case I uh, picked out the coffee one which was already the fourth uh, question I got so Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.